Okay, I'd like to work on section six today. I break it down into three parts, A, B, and C, and we'll start here with a single whip to the left. Keep in mind that I'm facing you to show the hand position. So stepping back, bring the left hand over to the right side, lower the right, raise the left. Now, this is Sun style wave hands. The palm is facing out, the fingertips are pointed up. So we're gonna turn to the left, change hands and turn to the right. I'm just doing the hand work now. Very pretty series of moves. We do this two and a half times in section six. And we also feature it later on. Okay, so the footwork, you're gonna step over, toe ball heel and bring the right foot over. Step again left, bring the right foot over. Adjusting zero and 100 on the footwork here. Stepping and follow stepping, okay? Open and close, single whip. Look to the right, bring the left hand, left foot over, change now. Wave hands. One. Step, follow step. Two, turning through the hips. Step and follow step. Lower the left hand, the right hand comes up the center. Pat on high horse and into play guitar. Let me show you from the side. Pat on the high horse looks like this. The last wave hands. Lower the left hand, the right hand comes up the center. Pat on high horse. So there's a half circle in here. Stepping back on the left foot. Drag the right foot in, play guitar. Okay, so let's take that much and go with it. Step back. One, two, and a half. Lower the left hand, bring the ha right hand up the center, pat on high horse and into play guitar. Turn left, make a jar, adjust the left foot and make a ball. The jar looks like this with the right hand on top, left is holding the bottom of the jar, and the left foot is rotated, so we need to straighten that out. And we do that at the same time that we rotate the hands this way from horizontal to vertical. So opening the hands like a single whip, but there's no footwork involved. We're just gonna open the arms to the width out here, and we kick right, right underneath the right arm. That's first kick. Bring the hands in when the foot comes down. Kick foot comes down and the hands come in. Second kick to the left. This time though we need to put the left foot behind the right because we're going to adjust the right foot here in a moment. So we go open, kick, left foot behind the right. Bring the left, bring the weight onto the left foot and adjust the right foot north-south. Open again. This is a different kind of kick. We're going to bring the knee up, kick, and then put the heel down. Allow the right arm to drop into position here for a first parry. Turn the hands over. Second parry. This is like section two. Then we're going to swing the left hip around. The right hand comes up and over in a fist. Does a low punch by the left knee. The left hand comes into the hip here and just sort of sits here. That is the end of section part A. Okay? Right there. Then we pull the rope and block to the right and tap the heel. Stepping in with the left foot, circle movement, wipe the table, and then we're gonna come down in the legs and do an elbow strike, keeping the right hand by the shoulder here. Don't let it be up in the air here, you don't have any power. But keep it by the shoulder, go down into the legs and come up, slap the right leg, step back on the right, extending the hands, pull the rope to the left, and you're gonna pivot on the right heel so that when you step in with the left foot and do a chop, like a hatchet, you're pigeon toed again. So let's do this. We're gonna pull the rope like an old-fashioned lawnmower. Pull the rope, turn to the right, and tap the heel. Pull yourself up, wipe the table as you step in left foot. Elbow strike, slap, step back and pull the rope, and chop. Turn, now that is the end of section B, part B. Okay, C is we're gonna turn the right foot out and open the hands again with a left kick, and now step left, right, and then left, facing south, we're gonna open again, bring up the right knee for a chamber kick, extend, put the heel down, go right into a left parry, and then a right punch. Now this is the end of section two, only one parry though involved, and push, follow step. Turn to the front, open, and close. So now when we're done here, we've got the right heel off the ground, indicating that we go right. So let's take this from the top in the normal position that I would lead it from. So we're gonna open and close, and we go single whip, step back, 
the left foot. Change hands now. Stepping in, wave hands like clouds. One, two, and a half. Lower the left hand, bring the right hand up the center. Pat on high horse and then to play guitar. Turn left, make a jar, adjust the left foot, make the ball. Open the arms first, straight right kick, bring the hands and foot in together. Open, straight left kick, left foot goes behind the right, adjust the right foot. Open, bring up the left knee, chamber kick, heel strike. Go in with a right handed parry, left handed parry, swing the left hip around, up and over for a low punch. Pull the rope with your right hand, turn to the right and tap the heel and drop the arm. Pull yourself up and wipe the table, go down in the legs, elbow strike, move the left hand to the left side. Slap, step back and pull the rope to your left, put the left hand on top like you're holding the hatchet and chop. That's the end of part B. Turn the right foot out, open, left kick, turn, face the south, open, chamber kick, parry left, punch right. Wipe off and push the mountain, drop your heel, open, close. The right heel's off the ground, we would do section seven next with a, a right brush knee and go on from there. Okay, well that's it. Hope section six is not too overwhelming, but uh, work on it a little piece at a time. Thank you.